Virgin River season six is going to blow everyone's mind as we're picking right back up after some shocking revelations. The upcoming season isn't just going to give us more of an insight into who Mel's real father is and the buried secrets that come with it, but it also seems to be throwing us right back in the danger zone as the bad guys aren't ready to let everyone go just yet. After years of crazy twists and turns and shocking revelations, it looks like Virgin River is keeping up the tradition of blowing fans away as the new season looks to be going bigger and bolder than ever before with some life-altering decisions being made. Season 6 has officially started production and there's already so much to learn about where exactly the show will be taking our favorite characters after their winter break. Stay tuned to hear more about what sort of chilling surprises there are in store for us now, as well as a potential release date for season six, as well as the newly announced spin-off series. There are a lot more shocking secrets to be unveiled in the upcoming season and a lot of drama that has been left unresolved, which makes the future look very tense for everyone involved. The upcoming season is said to be taking place a few months after the season five Christmas ending, which means we'll be seeing spring in full action by the time the episodes appear on our TVs. According to the writer and executive producer, it might even be deep spring as this time jump has been confirmed to be slightly bigger than we are usually used to in between seasons. Spring is also very much a season full of growth and new opportunities, which is why we can probably expect quite a lot of change when we pick back up again, especially considering the many cliffhangers that have some serious implications for the future. Along with this news, it has also been confirmed that the time jump between the last few seasons has only been a few weeks at most, which is why this is a very new thing for the show to explore. It's also been pointed out that this slightly bigger time jump will have some extremely interesting effects on the upcoming plot. While it certainly would have been hard to pick back up in winter considering we're well into spring, it does feel like there are some real important reasons for this time jump that will be revealed in due time. However, as with many other things with this special upcoming season, the showrunners are calling it a one-time thing, as many new factors have played into the making of this season. Just like with season five, season six is rumored to have 12 episodes as what looks to be a special gift to the fans in order to pack in as much exciting plot as possible. Because of the SAG-AFRA strikes, many things about this season have had to be delayed or changed, and the crew is therefore more than willing to give back to fans where they can. However, Season six will be the last season to do so as they expect future seasons to follow the same recipe that the first few seasons have had with the tried and tested 10 episodes. This also means that the writers have plenty of material to continue the series if everything goes well, which is only good news for any fan watching. So with 12 brand new episodes, there's quite a lot to explore, especially after the Terminalist season five that we just witnessed, which changed so many things. There are a lot of unanswered questions left and secrets that can no longer stay buried to explore, and it's certainly not going to be an easy journey for any of the characters. According to sources, we can expect the entirety of our main cast to return to Virgin River, including new characters that we've just been introduced to, like Kaya, played by Candace McClure, who began her firefighter run in season five. Even supporting characters like Muriel, Joey, Joe Ellen, and Nick will be returning to keep up with the unfolding drama while also surely bringing a lot more interesting material to the table. According to showrunner Patrick Sean Smith, a lot of the upcoming surprises are going to be very much character related, which is why fans might be shocked to see some familiar faces return to the show. Stirring the pot is one thing that Patrick certainly knows how to do, which is why many are now suspecting that we might be seeing characters like Ricky return, who was last seen leaving for the Marines. Now that would be an interesting development, but it's not all about reunion as it definitely looks like some of the bad guys are well on their way back to Virgin River, and there's no doubt that they'll be causing a lot more trouble this upcoming season, especially considering Calvin's relationship with Charmaine and Jimmy's vendetta against Brady. As season five revealed in a shocking twist, Calvin actually managed to survive the boat explosion at the end of season four, and he looks to already be causing major trouble for our favorite characters 
as he is now trying to push his way back into Charmaine's life. He's not alone either, as it's already been made clear that his right-hand man, Jimmy, is back and badder than ever. But even with all the bad guys roaming around town, the main event will still be Everett Reed, played by John Allen Nelson, who will be returning as Mel's biological father after a shocking revelation about her true origin in season five. After finding out that her mom had been lying to her about who her father is for her entire life, Mel has been on a mission to track down the man whom her mother had an affair with all those years ago. In a shocking twist of events, the journey led them back to Virgin River, where it turns out that her biological father, Everett Reed, had been living all along. The revelation truly caught everyone off guard, and things are only getting crazier from here as Everett is here to stay, and it looks like there's a lot more to him than meets the eye, as we have a lot to discuss about his upcoming role in everyone's lives, and even a future spin-off series portraying his younger self. Mel and Jack's lives have gotten extremely complicated. However, that doesn't mean that they're setting their lives on pause to deal with all the problems coming to town, as it's been confirmed that they are still very much dreaming of starting a family together. Patrick has even confirmed that the farm will be an important part of their dream life when he said, Mel and Jack will advance on their path to parenthood while also turning Lily's farm into their ultimate dream home. After getting engaged in season five, it's clear that they are ready to make any sacrifice to build the life they deserve, especially after experiencing so much together. However, saving the farm is only step one to fulfilling all their wishes, as it's extremely likely that we might even get a beautiful farm wedding to celebrate their new life together after all the tragedy. In fact, Patrick seemed to hint at this very thing, saying that babies and wedding bells are never off the table on Virgin River. And with the previously mentioned time jump, we could be well into the process of setting up their dream home for the future. However, another thing we might be jumping far into is Lizzie's pregnancy, which will certainly be a big moment for everyone as we're getting closer and closer to welcoming the baby into the world. Another important pregnancy is, of course, Charmaine and her twins, as she finally gave birth in the season five finale. One reoccurring thing in the show has been Charmaine's pregnancy which has caused quite a lot of tension for many people, especially since she claimed that the baby was Jack's when it turns out that the baby daddy had been Calvin all along. The reveal was even more shocking than when we found out that Charmaine was having twins and was pushed to reveal that she had been lying all along. But despite all of this, fans are mostly happy to see that Charmaine will no longer be pregnant in season six, as it has been literal years since she got pregnant in season one. One good thing about these sneak peeks into the season six production is the fact that it was finally confirmed that only a few weeks pass between each season so far, which is why Charmaine had been pregnant for so long. For her, it had only been around six months. This specific detail had actually gotten pretty ridiculous as the years pass, which is why the writers even sneaked in a cheeky reference to it when Charmaine mentioned that she felt like she had been pregnant for years in season season five. It's glad to hear that the writers have a sense of humor about these things, especially since it looks like we might be going down quite a troubled route now that the real father of the babies has been revealed and is looking to enter everyone's lives once again. And as mentioned before, Jimmy is just as ready for trouble as he is still very much in cahoots with Lark, who is presumably still dating Brady after the month-long time skip. This storyline is still in effect and things Things might be getting worse than ever as Jimmy's plans for Brady are going to be revealed in season six. According to the showrunner, Jimmy considers Brady to be his nemesis, which is why this situation might get extremely dangerous for Brady if he's not careful. And with Lark in his life, we might just be watching a train wreck waiting to happen as there's no knowing whether or not Brady can get out of this unharmed, even after trying so hard to stay out of trouble. With all this danger in town, it's no surprise that nobody can take a moment to breathe anymore, and it's very possible that we might be jumping right into the action by the very first episode of season six. As explained by the showrunner, the cliffhanger we were left on by Everett when he announced that he had something to tell Mel is what's going to rule a huge
huge part of this upcoming drama as the shocking paternity reveal was only the start. In fact, quite a lot was explained about what we can expect to see concerning Everett. I think what we're exploring more in season six is who Everett Reed is, what his backstory is, what his connection to Virgin River was when he met her mom, and then also what it is today, since it's a small town. One thing that inspired this whole plot was the fact that Patrick himself had grown up in a similar small town, and in small towns, everybody knows everybody, which is why it's hard for anything to stay buried for long. Everyone will want to know more about Everett following the big reveal, and everyone is going to have an opinion about him that might not necessarily be the best. This is why one of the big central elements of the season is going to be how the town deals with having Everett around, knowing that they know his relationship to Mel, and even how Everett feels about the entire thing after not knowing his daughter for her entire life. It's not easy to be confronted by such shocking news either, which is why we're certainly going to see some tension between Mel and Everett, and even Mel's mom, who will no doubt play just as big of a role in all of this. We of course can't forget about the fact that a spin off show was announced, which will focus on the relationship between Mel's mother and Everett in their younger days, something which will surely have a huge effect on the way we view the main show going forward. It's been revealed that we're going to see plenty of flashbacks of these two in season six, as we'll already be meeting their younger counterparts before we get to see the actual spinoff. It sounds like season six will most likely be airing first, especially as as making a whole new show takes much longer than simply continuing an ongoing series. While the production for this new show halted with the SAG AFRA strikes, things have started rolling once again, and we can expect to hear more news about the characters and the storyline we'll be following during 2024. This also means that we'll likely have to wait till at least next year for a release, as it's unlikely that the production will be finishing anytime soon. However, loyal viewers seem to have no problem with the wait. With the success of Queen Charlotte, it's been proven that viewers love to hear more about doomed romances, and Mel's parents follow the perfect recipe for exactly that. If the two prove to have as much chemistry as we're already imagining, this might be an extremely well-received move that could only bring more viewers to Virgin River. But unfortunately, even the main show will have to wait a bit as Netflix themselves have actually confirmed that we won't be seeing season six until 2025. This was pretty sad news to many fans as the show has been doing a very good job at staying consistent with their schedule by dropping one season a year. It's pretty much unheard of today to have such a big production show air their seasons so often, which is why the show was so loved in the first place. However, there's no getting around the fact that things were unexpectedly set on pause for months, meaning that if we want the same quality that we've been getting for the past five seasons, fans will simply have to be patient. It's also unclear how the season is going to be airing, since nobody seems to know whether or not we'll be sticking to the same season structure as the first four seasons, or if we're going to follow in the footsteps of season five and see a two-part season six. Since the new season is rumored to have 12 episodes, it's entirely possible that we might be seeing a cliffhanger somewhere in the middle of the season, especially since this seems to be Netflix's favorite thing to do. However, despite all the delays in production, all the cast and crew are extremely excited to return to work as Virgin River is no longer just a work environment to them and has in fact become a very real place to everyone. There's definitely a lot of real in Virgin River. I think there's enough real emotion to it that I think people connect to the characters and believe in the relationships enough. I think it's very heightened reality, but the emotions are real enough and deep enough to actually make it relatable. In fact, everyone is already itching to return to Vancouver where the show is filmed, as showrunner Patrick feels like it's been way too long since they were all able to see each other. The last time we all saw each other was the end of 2022, so it's incredible to just all be back together again. Going back to Virgin River is therefore no doubt going to be as emotional for the actors as it's going to be for the viewers.